Hi, this is Mike Marco. In this video, I want to talk to you about Google My Business and how to put a blog post or a page connection in Google My Business to help promote whatever page or website you're trying to promote with your Google My Business account. Now, Google My Business is a great platform for, for local business marketing, but even if you are not advertising just to your local area, it's still a good idea to set it up so that way people can find you because it's a representation of your business. You can see here, if you set it up properly and, and make it attractive looking, you actually really start promoting your business a lot, a lot easier to potential customers, potential clients, because the first thing people are gonna see. They're gonna see this listing, they're gonna check it out when they search for your business name. So it really does represent your business. And that's one of the reasons why you wanna have a blog post or, or maybe static pages, links to those pages within your Google My Business listing. So if, first of all, what you want to do is you want to go and log into your Google My Business account. And you can see here that you go to the post section. You can see that the post you might have posted already, or maybe if you don't have any posts, this might be your very first post. So what you want to do is you want to, and there's different kinds of posts. What I typically like to do is do an event because I like to have it over a period of time. So that way it's live over a larger period of time. Because if you don't have any active posts running, what's going to happen is that it's not going to show any of the posts. So you always want to have a post running at any given time. So we choose an event. I'm going to choose an image. Okay, and we'll drag one over here. I already selected one previously. And I want to grab this one right here. Okay, so I have added the image. Oh, this one is the wrong size. Let's try another one here. Let us try this one. This will work. Size is important. When it comes to this. It says this one's to the wrong size as well. Well, I have a bunch of these here. We're going to check the right one. There we go. That one's the wrong size too. Let's see real quick here. I'm looking at my images on the side here. And um, let us try this one here. I know this one, if I use this one, it's probably going to have an issue because it's probably a good example of me showing you what problems you can have when it comes to these images. You can see here it's because of the cropping. And so what we want to do here is, next step you want to do is, ideally you're going to design an image that's going to actually going to work really well for the sizing. Uh, in this case here, obviously, this one's not going to work for you because I'm going to have to go ahead and see what I can do to try to get the best fit as possible. This is, again, is not ideal. Um, maybe I can try to get this. More local customers? No, that won't work either. Let's see here what we can do here. To kind of, this is the smallest thing I get. Um, and let's take a look. If we do this, do some cropping here, see how that does. Update post, see how that looks. Get more local customers. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make a title. Get more local customers. And now we go ahead and grab the link. And this is going to make sure the date range. We're going to make sure, we, I don't need time, so I just want to wear a date range. I typically like to let these things run for about a month. So let's go ahead and run this to, to August. Okay. And then uh, what I also want to do here is add in additional options, the event details and a button. I definitely want to have a learn more button. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to visit my blog posts. In this case here, or it could be going to a static page as well, wherever works best. Um, and so I want to cover this here. Is I'm going to grab this text here because it's a good intro. It's already been written. And then I want to do here is grab his last part. Make sure I have a good call to action. You get people interested in actually reading. And now what I want to do is add the learn more link, which in this case here is I click up here up top, copy it. So really what I've been doing here is copying. So again, I, I kind of breezed through that, but when I was selecting the text here, I was just doing either you can do like edit copy or whatever you're going to do for edit copy. This is a right click. I can do copy, whatever is, however best you want to do that. So again, the same thing up here. As I select all this up here, you might, depending on how you do this, you can either do that or, or, or there are multiple different ways to collect selecting the entire URL. And then I right click copy. If you have a, a, a Mac, you might do two finger and then select the option because if you two finger click to do that, or there might be a menu up top to add, it might be edit and copy, okay? Either way, grab that link, you put it into here, to learn, you have selected learn more as, a, as the option, 
paste your control V or if you right click paste or whatever you're gonna do with the paste, so you normally do the paste, those kind of things. And then you go ahead and hit publish. And in order to see, there you go, get more local customers. It has been done. Now again, some trial and error, you wanna make sure this looks good on multiple different platforms. Make sure it looks good on a desktop, make sure it looks good on a mobile device. Because when you go over here and look at your posts, you wanna make sure that they're very, very easy to read based on what people are looking at from different platforms. Because this is what people are gonna see from the outside world. It's not necessarily what you're gonna see in the back office, but this is what you wanna do is have this in here, okay? So that is it for doing that. Um, here, let's hit refresh and see if it actually shows up right away. Sometimes it doesn't. It's not showing up right away. There we go. Get more local customers. Boom, there you can see it. Very easy to read here. We want to make sure we double check that on the mobile device and make sure it's good there as well. But you can see here, oh, looks like I'm missing a title. Uh, uh, let me get on here. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna show you here how to edit. The reason I noticed that is because there is no part here. So let me just double check here, make sure I have a setup. Oh, I do have get more local customers. I did set it up right, I just wanted to make sure I had it properly done. So let me go ahead back here, refresh. For some reason, it just hadn't completely loaded maybe. And, oh, there we go. It's still not completely loading, but maybe it's speaking some more time because the text is there. Sometimes it takes a little while for Google to refresh and make sure it's all uploaded properly. Okay, so I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me and I'll be more than happy to, to, to reply to any comments you might have unrelated to this video's comment below. Okay, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.